Hello and welcome to this tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel. This tutorial is recorded using Excel 2010, but if you're using any version of Excel from 2007 all the way up to 2019, most of what you see here will be familiar and you'll be able to apply this to the version of the program that you're working with. The subject of this tutorial is formatting tables. First of all, I'm going to apply bold formatting to the top row of my header labels. I'm just going to highlight their cell A4 and to select that row of labels I'm going to hold down the control and shift key together and then press the right arrow key and you'll see that I've selected all the labels together and I can either type control and B on the keyboard or just use the mouse and click the B in the font section there so I apply bold formatting if I click away you can see that applied I also want to apply currency formatting to the values in column H and column I. So I'm going to select cells H5 and I5. Again, hold down the control, then shift keys, press the down arrow this time, and that will select all the values to the end of the table. I can then go to the number section and you'll see the currency button there. Click the drop down. And now I'm going to apply the US dollar currency here. Let's click on that. It's automatically got two decimal places. You can modify that, of course, using the increase and decrease decimal buttons here, but I will leave it as two decimal places. Again, I'll just click away to deselect. Excel also has quite a few automatic table formatting tools, and to apply these, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, before you do that, though, the first thing you need to do is click anywhere in the table. No need to select the whole table, just click anywhere within the table. And then if you go to the style section on the home tab, you'll see a button there that says format as table. If I click on that drop down there, you'll see a huge range of formatting options. And you can see the format styles are split up into light, medium and dark styles. So let's go for a medium one. Let's use this green style here. Excel will automatically work out the borders of the table. And also you need to tell Excel that your table does have a header row. The labels in the first row. So all I need to do here is click OK and then click away so you can see that formats applied. One thing Excel has also applied you'll notice is the filter drop downs on each of the columns. If you want to change a style it's simply a case of again click anywhere within the table, go back to format as table and this time as I move the mouse over the different styles you'll see that the table automatically updates with a live preview because Excel now knows where the borders of my table are. However, rather than select a new style, I'm just going to press the escape key first of all to cancel the menu and then go to the undo button and I'll just put the table back as it was before I applied the formatting. Now another way to get access to the table formatting features in Excel is to again just make sure you have any cell within the table selected. Go to the insert tab and in the first section, Tables, just click on the Table button. And again, when you do that, as with the formatting, Excel identifies the range of the table. Again, just make sure that you, you have My Table Has Headers checked if you have column labels, which you really should have. And then click OK. And if I now click away, you'll see that Excel has automatically applied a format without me choosing one. But if I go back and click in the table, You'll notice in the toolbar options, we have this table tools design tab. And here we have some table style options. I'll come back to those in a moment. But first of all, let's go to the table style templates. Again, click on the drop down at the end there. Uh, we'll see the full range of styles. And this time, let's go for that light section and choose this red. Let's click on that. And if I don't like that, I can go back to my table styles again. And maybe this time choose this one in the third row, this light 20, if I click on that. Again, click away, you'll see the result. Now you'll notice there that the rows have this banded effect. So we have a light row and then a blue row light again. If I go back to, just click in the table, go back to the design section, and we'll have a look at table style options. You'll see in the first column of options, we have header row, total row, and banded rows. Well, total row will come back to later on. But just for now, header row is there to tell Excel that we do indeed have a header row with column labels, so that one should always be checked. Um, further down, we have the banded rows option, 
And if you don't like that banded styling, that alternate shading, just take the tick out of the banded rows option and those alternate shading sections will disappear. In the second column, we have a first column option. And if I just click on that, you'll see we have bold formatting applied to column one. And also I can do the same thing for the last column. So if you have, let's say, as I do, a code in column one and a total in the final column, you might want to highlight those in some way. And you can also have banded columns instead of banded rows. And by ticking that, you can see the effect of that. The idea of these banded options is to make the table easier to read. So for example, if I just remove the check from banded columns, go to banded rows, then if you're reading across a long row of data, it's easy to stay focused on the row you're reading across if you have shading above and below to keep your focus on the row that you're interested in. But again, in this case, I'll just remove that banded rows option. And the final option here that I haven't looked at yet is a total row. So if I click on that and then scroll to the end of my table, you will see in row 56, we now have a label total. If I read across, you'll see that the grand total at the bottom, 3,333. But I can also add a calculation to any other column. So for example, if you look at my tickets quantity column, at the moment, there's no calculation at the bottom of that. So if I click into that cell in row 56, click on the drop down arrow, you will see we have a number of functions I can use here. So average, count, I have max, min, and the one I'm looking for, which is sum. So if I click on that, that totals the tickets that are sold, which is 888. And I might want to know what the average ticket price that my tickets are sold at is. So I could click into the ticket price column again at the bottom in the totals row, click on the drop down, select average, and there's the average price my tickets are sold for, which is $3.79. And when I finish, just click away to clearly see all the results. If you no longer want that totals row, you can click anywhere again in the table and simply go back to table tools, design, and again, that table style options and remove the check from the total row option. If you want to remove the option to use these automated table features, all you need to do again is click anywhere in the table Make sure you're on the Table Tools Design tab. Come over to the Tools section on the left and click on Convert to Range. If I click on that, I get a warning pop-up saying, do you want to convert the table to a normal range? And I will click Yes. And you'll notice that the formatting does remain. But if I click anywhere in the table, you will see now I don't have a Table Tools Design option to go to. If I want that back, I simply go back to the Insert tab, click Table, and again, I get to confirm the range. Just click OK. And there we are. We have our design options back again. Excel has applied its default format. So I still need to go to the drop down and select my preferred table style there. And again, go and remove those banded rows. Click away. And there's my final table layout. And if I click on the table, again, I have access to all those table format options. That completes this brief look at formatting tables in Excel. I hope you found it useful and you can apply what you've seen here to the tables that you're working on. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.